Hi, this is Elijah Manor, and welcome to Mannerisms. In this video, we'll look at a technique to help prevent you from ejecting your app that was bootstrapped by Create React App. So let's get going. Create React App is great in that it helps you quickly get started building a React app with sensible defaults. However, if you happen to need to tweak the build process, then you may be tempted to run the eject script. However, before we consider ejecting, let's quickly look at a small app that I created using Create React App. We'll open up the app.js file, and much of it might look familiar to you. However, I am pulling in components for app, logo, header, etc. from app.style, and I'm not using the CSS classes that were originally generated. If we take a look at app.style, you'll see that I'm using styled components. I basically just grabbed all the CSS from app.css, and made components out of them. Anyway, if we come back over and run the app with npm start, you'll see that the app looks about the same as it usually does. Upon further inspection, you'll see generated class names from styled components. However, wouldn't it be nice if the CSS class names were not all mangled? Wouldn't it be nice if somehow they represented what component they came from? Well, there is a Babel plugin for that called Babel Plugin Styled Components. However, you have to tweak the build process to include the plugin, which you can't do in Create React App without ejecting. So we could npm run eject, but that's a pretty big move. It's permanent. There's no easy way to upgrade React scripts once we do this. From here on out, we have to maintain all the build scripts and configurations ourselves. Um, no thanks. Whew, that was a close one. Well, there happens to be another way that is becoming more common that is listed in the docs. There's a nice article listing out the steps and a good discussion in a GitHub issue all about this technique. The rest of this video will be dedicated to showing how this is done. First, you need to fork the Create React App repository on GitHub. In this case, I'll pick my personal GitHub profile. And now you could grab the clone URL and from your terminal, type git clone and paste the URL. Now you can cd into the Create React App folder. By default, you'll be on the next branch, but you'll want to switch to the master branch instead. At this point, if we look at our remotes, we'll only have an origin. It'll be helpful to create an upstream remote so that at some point you can merge in new features or bug fixes from Facebook into your version. Now let's create a new branch, based on master, that will contain our customizations. We'll call our branch Custom React Scripts. So for example, if it's a few weeks from now and I want to pull in Facebook's latest changes, I could fetch upstream and then rebase upstream master into my branch. In this case, I'm up to date, but I just cloned so there are no changes. There are lots of folders and files in this repo, but the ones we care about are in the packages slash React Scripts folder. Now we could launch our code editor and start making our changes. In our case, we'd like React Scripts to support styled components out of the box, along with the supporting Babel plugin. So we'll install those dependencies. Now let's tweak the Webpack config files to include the Babel plugin. We'll start with the development Webpack config file. Here we'll navigate to the section that deals with processing JavaScript with Babel and add a new line defining the plugins that we want to use. In this case, just Babel plugin styled components for now. We'll also want to change the production webpack config file with the same plugin modification. Before we start using our custom React scripts, let's make a few minor changes to the package JSON. Here, we'll update the name to include the mannerisms scope, and we'll change the repository and bugs URL to be from my fork and not Facebook's. While we're at it, let's bump the version number two. Now let's commit our changes and we're about done. However, instead of just publishing something to NPM hoping for the best, let's try out our code locally first. To do that, we'll go back to our React Styled Components app and npm link our local tweaked version instead of the real React Scripts version from Facebook. We could use the nice link status tool with npx 
to verify that our link is set up correctly. Now we'll kick up our dev server, and we'll see that our class names are still dynamic, but now, thanks to the Babel plugin, it's more obvious which component defined the styles for that element. At this point, we're ready to push our code to npm. If you aren't already logged into npm, you'll want to run npm login. Here, I'll log into mannerisms, and since I created a scope, I'll run npm publish dash dash access public. Now that our modified scripts are in npm, I could use them when I bootstrap a new React app. For example, I could npx create React app to create a new playground app, and then pass dash dash scripts dash version, and provide at mannerisms slash React scripts. This will generate a new app, but base it on our React scripts, which are optimized for styled components. To demonstrate, let's come in and import styled from styled components and create a new header component. We'll grab the CSS from app CSS and paste it into our div. And then we'll replace the header on line 17 with our custom header. Now, if we kick off the server, we'll see our new app that supports styled components out of the box with the Babel plugin. Thanks for watching this fourth video in the Create React App series. If you've needed to eject your app but didn't want to, hopefully these steps will help you along the way. If you want to know about future videos, you can subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified. In the meantime, feel free to reach out on Twitter at Elijah Manor. Until then, have a blessed day.